In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a free FTB Stoneblock 4 server. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up any web browser like you normally would. Then go to the search bar and type in Ascension Mod. Ascension Mod is the mod that is going to allow us to create our very own server for free. So please go to the official Essential.gg website just like so. And all you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on this blue button that says download. Now, even though the Essential Mod is a great option, unfortunately, it does have its limitations. For starters, it is not a 24-7 server. It is only going to work when you're online playing and also it can be difficult to set up There could be glitches and also you should only use the essential mod with people You know in real life because anyone who joins your game on the essential mod is able to access your IP address And they're able to see your location But if you guys don't want any of those issues and you just want a simple plug-and-play solution Then consider checking out our partners over at simple game hosting simple game hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting You're easily able to create a 24 7 unlimited south server for you and and all of your friends and the best part is that you're able to add mods mod packs and plugins all with the click of a single button you guys can even make a server with the ftb stone block mod pack and if you never made a minecraft server before do not worry because they have dozens of video tutorials and 24 7 live customer support and at the moment they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a minecraft server gets 25 percent off their very first month of server hosting so guys if you ever thought about making a minecraft server now is the perfect time to do it and the link can be found in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, guys, that's enough yapping out of me. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to go ahead and actually go to our desktop and drag and drop the essential installer.exe file just to keep things a little bit more organized. I recommend that you guys do the same thing. All right, once you have the essential installer installed, please go ahead and open up CurseForge, the application. If you haven't already installed CurseForge, do not worry. You can easily install it by just opening up your web browser one more time. Then you just need to look up CurseForge app, download right over here, go to the official curseforge.com website, then go ahead and press on download standalone, and then from there, you you're able to go ahead and install CurseForge. And the reason why we're using CurseForge is because the Essential Mod and CurseForge actually go together pretty nicely. So I recommend that you have the FTB Stoneblock Mod Pack installed on CurseForge. So here is how you would download it. And then obviously you would go ahead and open up CurseForge. And what you want to do from here is make sure that you have FTB Stoneblock already installed. If you haven't already, go ahead and select on Browse. Then go to the search bar and just look it up. So stone block right over here. And then there you go. You're able to go ahead and install it. This orange button is going to say install. And all you need to do is you need to go ahead and begin installing it. It will take a little while because this is a pretty big mod pack. So again, just keep that in mind. But anyways, while we're here in CurseForge, we need to make a few adjustments to the settings in order for this to work. So go to the left menu and scroll down until you see settings. Then go ahead and select on CurseForge. And where it says when I close CurseForge, make sure that exit CurseForge is selected. Then once you're done with that, go ahead and exit out of CurseForge. Afterwards, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and just double click on the essential installer.exe file right over here. And then eventually it is going to open up a menu that looks like this. Now from here, please go ahead and press on get started. Then go ahead and select on CurseForge where it says select your launcher. Now, if you already installed the FTB Stoneblock 4 on CurseForge, like I previously mentioned, then you're going to see it on this list of options. So, yep, here it is for me, FTB Stoneblock 4. So, you just want to go ahead and select on it. And then, where it says Minecraft version, just leave it the way it is. And where it says Mod Loader, just leave that the way it is. Just leave that the way it is. Make sure that Neo Forge is selected. Then, just go ahead and press on Update and Install Essential, just like so. It is now going to be installing the Essential Mod over onto FTB Stoneblock on CurseForge. And once that's done, it is now going to say installed. So you can go ahead and close out of the essential installer, then open up CurseForge one more time. Then go ahead and locate FTB Stoneblock 4 and go ahead and press on play. All right, once you're here in the Minecraft launcher, make sure that FTB Stoneblock 4 is selected, then go ahead and press on play. By the way, if you never used CurseForge before, it may ask you to sign in. So again, just be prepared to do that just in case. And then from here, just wait for Minecraft to load in. All right, guys, then eventually Stoneblock 4 should be loaded in and it should look something like this. Now, you will notice that we will get an additional menu over here and we're going to see buttons like host, social, wardrobe, etc. So what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and start off by pressing on this option that says social. That is because you need to add you and your friends on the essential mod in order to play together. So that means that you and all of your friends playing multiplayer need to have the FTB Stoneblock 4 mod pack installed and they also need to have the essential mod installed. So please make sure to send this video to your friends so that they know exactly what to do. Anyways, guys, what you want to do from here is you want to go ahead and press on this button that says add friend. Then go ahead and type in your friend's username over here and press on add. Then they should be in your friends list. And then all they need to do is they need to go ahead and accept your friend request. And then you guys are good to go. And once you guys are done with that, then all you want to do is you want to go to the main menu, press on host. 
then you can go ahead and select the world to host or you guys can make a new world uh, if you do want to then go ahead and configure the world settings this is 100 up to you you can determine the game mode the difficulty etc press on next press on host world just like so and now once you're in your world your friends who are on the essential mod will be able to see that you're online and they can go ahead and join you if you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial